What's going on guys? Mitch here. Um, I wanted to tell you about something that is probably the best kept secret on ASOS bibs that this single feature itself is, you know, probably my most favorite thing that they do about the bibs other than the chamois themselves. You know, it's easy to look at, you know, the comfort level of ASOS bibs and talk about, you know, the different materials, the different uh, the ways that they compare between a, you know, a GTS, a GTO, and an equip um, kind of bib, or sorry, a chamois setup here, and that's all great. Um, you know, I, I've had experience on all of these, and I can tell you the difference between them. That's, that's not what this is about. Um, for comparison as well, I wanted to show what's kind of highlighted this for me, and for that I brought in a Lacole bib here which is, uh, I, I don't want to call it a budget bib, but it's definitely less expensive by a, by a little bit, depending on how you purchase it. You can get it for a little bit with uh, our discount with Strava code and whatnot. And, and let's, let's be honest here. Lacole makes a great bib. It's, it's not bad. I use them. I do all my indoor training on Lacole bibs, other than longer rides, where I will throw on the ASO stuff. Um, but let's get into it here. All right guys, so what is that feature? Let me tell you, it is the actual bib straps themselves. This has to be the, the most best kept secret ASOS has in their entire lineup. Um, you know, compared to the models here, if we look at the GTS, the GTO, and the Equip, this is the Equip Winter Bib, um, they, you know, they, they've got some similar things going on in the strap itself. You know, in the GTOs and the Equips, you know, the strap goes down and mounts twice on the back side of here, which really adds support, uh, as we can see is here as well. You can see how it mounts twice. So once up top, once down low, and then the GTS is it doesn't do that. So it's more of a comfort type of uh, strap here. Here's the back. Uh, it's more of a comfort setup, so it just mounts up top. Um, but anyway, the straps themselves are all very similar. Now, if we go into the kind of the Equip RSR series, they do change it up a little bit. And I'm thinking about actually picking up a set of those for a comparison point of view. But if we look at the actual material of the strap here, it is very difficult for this strap, when it's on your shoulders, to compress into a strip like this and kind of add pressure to your shoulders. If we look at the vented straps on the Lacole here, you know, on, on, in theory, oh, it's very ventilated, it's very mesh and whatnot. But in reality, when you start wearing it, they end up doing this as, as it's pulled down onto your, onto your shoulders and ends up actually wearing a bit of a line into your shoulders, which is not comfortable. And once again, this is why I said um, rides of less than an hour, I tend to wear the Lacoles just because of this, because over time that gets pulled tight and adds pressure to your shoulder. On the ASO stuff, I'm telling you right now, it goes on, it holds onto your shoulder, and it does not move at all. You put the bibs on, they stay put the entire ride. And in addition to obviously the, the chamois themselves and all the different features between them, I am telling you, the bib straps, and it is not the lightest material, let's be honest, we're comparing the material here. Um, you know, a ventilated mesh or whatever, it's, it's going to be lighter than this. But I'm willing to pay that difference to have this higher end material in the strapping where it makes a humongous different comfort level uh, over a long ride and the fact that they don't move while you're riding throughout the entire ride no digging in the shoulders the the back end having the double setup here just adds so much support to the bit itself that uh, I, I am adamant that this is the best kept secret that ASOS is currently doing is the bib straps themselves I <laughs> There is not even uh, not even a contest between uh, you know the Lacole stuff and the ASO stuff when it comes to the cover level uh, because of these straps. Now we can go into details and compare chamois. That's a whole different conversation, but this right here is worth its weight in gold. And I will also add that I've had the GTOs and the GTSs for about a year. They have not stretched. They are the exact same as when I bought them. They fit the same, the entire bib system, the leg grippers, the chamois, everything fits as good as when I got them. Um, there's like no wear in. It's unbelievable. I am, a, I am an ASOS customer for life. 
Um, and it starts with these guys right here. So that is it guys. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you want to chirp me, go ahead. Um, that is my opinion. But uh, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And we will talk soon. Later.